three, Randy Peterson for today's game. Uh, first key is going to be to keep the ball out of Monica Hia's hands as much as possible. If she gives it up, try not to allow her an easy catch to get it back. Second, K-State's going to need to take care of the basketball. Too many turnovers this season to begin, and the, they were able to cut it down to 15 against UMKC, had an assist to turnover ratio, 18 assists, 15 turnovers. Finally, K-State needs to get to the free throw line. Only eight free throw attempts against UMKC. Easier said than done. We'll see if the Cats can do that. K-State will win the tip and work from left to right as you sit here inside a converted ballroom into basketball court as they do often at these tournaments. Bounce feed inside to Jones. Quickly against the zone, and she'll score on the left side from point blank on a beautiful feed from Peyton Williams. Shoot up in K-State. Uh, Williams gives you that ability to spread out. Mugger to here. No one passed to the baseline. Jones may have partially tipped Drummond's attempt. It's batted out of bounds to Syracuse. You were saying? Well, they, Williams with her mid-range game draws the defense out to that short corner, opens the space up for Jones to make that layup. And it goes, Finkley working against Jones, goes up with the left hand and scores over the top. So we are tied at two, 30 seconds in. A little full court pressure, just that he mentioned this, that this will be something K-State will have to handle, a little one, two, two press. Doss cycling around the top of the circle, has the pass deflected and stolen. Manga Kahia picks it up. She has a man to the left. Starting from the top of the circle, she'll pass it over left side. Couple of dribbles by Stratman. On. They hit it to Manga Kahia. She'll hit a three-pointer. Manga Kahia with a three ball, and it's all of a sudden 5-2 Syracuse. She is short, 5-6, but boy, has a good motor. Jones, out right side, Carr. Answer three-pointer. In and out, no good. And the rebound inside to the Orange. All but down for Chrissy Carr. Casey's got to get back quickly. Another lob feed and another pass from Manga Kahia, and it's out of bounds on a turnover for K-State. K-State here in these first two possessions defensively has been in a 2-3 zone. We haven't seen much 2-3 zone by the Wildcats this season. Been mostly man-to-man -man in Bramley. Doss forced to give up the basketball to Williams, who will bring the ball up the court. Peyton into the front court, fires it to Jones, back up top to Goss. Straight off three-pointer, it's short. Rebound, Peyton tipped it, but it couldn't control it. And it's Syracuse back with the basketball. Orange with a foot on the accelerator. Cooper, Monica Hia over to the left side. Stratmana trying to get it inside. It's over to the right wing. Now it goes in. Jones steps in front of Drummond and intercepts the pass. Picked off by the Wildcats. Ahead to Ranky, who wasn't ready for the basketball, and it goes out of bounds. Well, just a brain cramp by Rachel Ranky. He was open on the left side. Got the pass from Goff, and it just popped out of her hands right out of bounds. Unforced air by the Wildcats. Oh, and Ranky was directing towards Chrissy Carr in the corner who was open, but K-State didn't want to do the skip pass. They wanted to throw it straight to Ranky. Long three by Cooper. Well short. Almost got wedged between the backboard of the rim. Rebound comes loose to the left side, and a baseline jumper rattles in for Stratmana. Stratmana out of Latvia. 6'2 sophomore. Williams brings the ball up the court. Stops the left block. Stripped of the basketball. Just ripped right out of her hands. And in transition, Syracuse with a bounce feed ahead intended for Manga Kahia sees it go out of bounds. Substitutions abound for Syracuse. Emily Engster, who was a highly touted freshman, is in off the bench. She was the one that just passed it a moment ago. And quickly into the post, Maya zaldi Tabi, who was a redshirt freshman out of Paris. She'll take over down in the post. Wildcats gets the 2 3 zone. Ranky up top, back to Carr over left wing. Bounce feed to Williams down in the corner, feeds it into Jones, one on one. Jones double team goes up, contact, no whistle. Our officials today, Bill Lawrence, who we know familiar for the Big 12, along with Carlina Tobin and Bianca, uh, Blanca Byrne. Down in the right corner, Zalda Tabi, pressured there by Jones. So Hooker go around to the baseline, fire the pass out of bounds, and she comes across down to the right block. Another turnover for K-State. Now I'm going to say no, it was a ball that was deflected. K-State originally had, the, uh, the official here originally had K-State tipping it out of bounds and giving it to Syracuse. Not sure why all the players were confused by it. Syracuse vehemently said there was a tip, the players and the bench, and it was reversed. Over at the left side it goes to Cooper. Now Kiara Lewis who's in, Manga Tejia back to Lewis. Trying to get it into the post to Inkster. And three seconds will be called on Inkster, who was setting up inside. Inkster is out of New York. She was the New York Gatorade Player of the Year, a McDonald's All-American. One of the highly, most highly touted recruits since Quentin Hillsman arrived. 
on campus. A little bit more pressure by K-State. Goff, a dangerous pass across the top of the circle. It goes to Carr. She'll shoot a three ball that's not close. Williams, the offensive rebound out to Ranky. She'll let go a three-pointer. That's good! Rachel Ranky hits her first shot from long distance. K-State needed that badly, and it's 7-5 to five in favor of Syracuse. On the other end, Lewis gets loose on a free ball on the baseline after a pimp on the loose shot and hits a baseline jumper to make it 9-5 to five orange. Goff in some trouble. Passes up to Ranky. Now to Williams. Casey gets across mid-court. Williams down to the corner. Wide open Carr. Three-pointer. Good for Carr! Wildcats hitting three-pointers early. Down 9-8 to the 14th ranked orange. Six minutes to go first quarter. Manga Kahia crosses over Goff. Let's go a jumper and it's nothing but net. Just inside the three-point line. It's five points for Manga Kahia, and it's already 11-8 in Syracuse's favor. Goff beats everybody up the court. Dribbling through traffic, finds Carr. Same spot, couldn't hit it. Jones tips the rebound over to Williams. An offensive reset. Out to Ranky, an open three. Way off the mark, and a rebound to Engster for Syracuse. 5.40 to go first quarter, 11-8. K-State down three. In the lane, Zaldi Tavi out left. Drummond lets go a three-point shot. That's off the back iron, and Ranky the rebound for K-State. Ranky shooting it very well to begin. Not many misses. Here's Williams on the high post trying to feed it down to Jones. The ball lost for a moment. Jones trying to get it. Gets run into by Drummond and they'll get a tie up. Well, they're letting them play here in Cancun with the arrow to Syracuse. Jason Beard in for K-State for the first time. And this is Gabby Simmons coming off the bench for the Wildcats. So Beard will kind of be the sixth man for the Wildcats this year, at least here in the early starting lineup. She'll check in in the post for Jones. Simmons up front for Carr. The benefit of that, Brian, is that Beard and Jones both are very active on the offensive glass, so that you don't have a real letdown right now. Dramada left wide open at the free throw line. She'll shoot and miss the rebound to Beard. Wild catch down 11 to 8. Goff up the court to Ranky, back to Kayla. Swung down to Williams, thought about a three instead to Simmons. She'll shoot a wide open three. It'll be short, and the rebound weak side goes to Cooper. 5'10 junior puts the foot down off the court. Syracuse to Lewis. Strotmanov. In it goes. Four out, one in. Look for Syracuse. Jolly Tobby double team. Try to pass in to Tate. It's stolen by Peyton Williams. Didn't see who got a deflection on that. Might have been Beard. Could have been Simmons. Either way, King State with a basketball down three. 4.30 to go first quarter. Ranky over to the right side of Goff. Williams left open for the free throw line. Hits the jump shot. Peyton's first bucket. Catch down a point. Over to the right side now. Cooper up top, Lewis. Thought about a three-pointer. Can't they giving that shot if they want it. Lewis with a man in the air. Drives right lane line. Throws it up at the glass. A little miss. She gets her own rebound. Trying to outlet over right wing. They get a reset. The Orange do. Lewis running the point now. Gives it back to Cooper. Thought about a long three. Got tied up. Just missed the travel. Gives off to Lewis. No look past Dolly Tommy. And a foul is called as Casey swipes at the shot. Trying to block it. I think they're going to get Ranky here. That'll send this to a timeout. 3.55 to go first quarter and a good start. K-State trailing 14th ranked Syracuse, 11 to 10 on the K-State Sports Network from Learfield.
snapped into Strutman. Strutman, you know, he was nearly stolen by the Wildcats. And now Mangakahia going into the lane to get ball away from her. And Beard will pick it up. As to Simmons, who is acting as the point guard with Goff as the two. Over to the right side, here goes to Cato. Back up top to Christiana Carr. Back to Goff. High post to Beard. She'll turn, shoot the right elbow jumper. Hits it. Nothing but net. Beard's first points. They're 12 in favor of Syracuse in the lane. Trying to spin to get loose for a shot. Banging it off the glass for two was Amaya Finkley. Finkley has four. Puts the pressure. Case fades to Williams. Bounce feed to Simmons. This is where Syracuse can get to. It looks like is that full court pressure. If you can keep him from making a shot, you get a chance to get to your half court. Beard double team to the corner and she is fouled. She's trying to dribble out of a double team. First foul on the Syracuse. And it will be on Finkley. Uh, if Kansas State can continue to put pressure on the middle of the floor against Syracuse, they're going to have a lot of success today. We've already seen Peyton Smith and Tom Beard just have wide open 15 foot jumpers right in that, that area on the, the elbows. Inbound play will go to Carr in the corner. She'll go to Goff. Wide open three pointer for Goff. Back iron, no good. Long rebound comes out to Christiana Carr. Snap pass over left. It goes to Simmons. Back to Goff. Now to Carr. Had Beard open. Now Carr will take a three. That's not close. Rebound being chased down on the corner. Syracuse can save it. Lakes tapping it back to a team out. Mary comes away with the ball. Lakes strong to the basket. Jump block. And she goes up against Finkley. Orange back and running the other way. Drop money in transition. Pull up three. Come out, KC. 156 to go first quarter. 21 12 in favor of Syracuse. But to Casey's credit, Lake staying with the basketball here on the other end to get an offensive rebound, but instead of putting it back out, waiting for teammates to reset, she chose to drive it to the basket, and that was ill advised. Wildcats have made a couple of ill-advised plays here the last few times down the court. Live school to Randy Peterson with you. Don't forget the Jeff City Radio Show, Mondays this season at 6 o'clock at Powercat Sports Grill, our new home for the Jeff City Show. Coach Vinny breaks down last week's opponent, discusses upcoming games at Powercat Sports Grill. Hope to see you there. First show starts December 3rd for an entire list of the shows. Go online to kstatesports.com, click on the Fan Zone, and go to Radio Network. Minute 56 to play in this first quarter, 21 to 12. K State in the lead, or I should say trailing, but with the basketball. Simmons with it, top of the circle, over right side of Ranky, bounce feed to Beard, down on the block. Sean's going down the baseline, finds Goff, down to Simmons. Simmons a draw, a draw of a fake. Goff on the right, now skip past to Ranky. Here's Savvy with 10 on the shot clock. The finds Beard, baseline jumper, missed, but a foul late. This could be on Finkley, and if it is, it's her second. It is. The starting center of the Orange with two fouls. And two free throws coming up for Jason Beard. Great ball movement there from the Kansas State offense. Number of times the ball touched both sidelines, and K-State was able to get the Syracuse defense out of position. Beard makes the first. She'll have one more coming up. Beard has three points to lead K-State. Host of subs for Syracuse. Manga Kahia, notably out of the lineup, the star point guard for Syracuse. She has a game high eight. Second free throw for Beard is good. So Jason has four. Lakes out. Jones back. 21 14 Orange. Cats with Goff, Simmons, Beard, Ranky, and Jones out on the court. And K State now in, in a man to man defense in this possession. Lewis. Trying to go a pick and roll. Couldn't quite find her man. Now to the baseline. Up against traffic. Leaning in. Giaja to Sissoko. Another native of France is able to make her first basket. 23-14 in favor of Syracuse. Case, case they beats the press. Ranky between the circles. Now to Simmons. He will direct traffic. Cycling it back up top. Over to goes to Goff. Into the high post to Beard. Looking for the low post. Instead will drive hard right side. And fam foul hard as she goes up for the basket. Jason back to the free throw line. As Stratmana gets her first. Right there. Attack the middle of the floor. Find her. She gives the ball fake to get beat the first defender. And goes and gets the contested shot against the second defender. Draws the foul. Gets two free throw opportunities. Well, Love the way Jason Beard has come out and played here in this game. Beard to the climb for two. She'll shoot one and make the first. 
With each and every three-point make by the Wildcats this season, our Powercat Health Partner, Stormont Vale Health, and the Kansas Health Foundation are collectively donating $30 to a community health project. Learn more about eating healthier, living better, and exercising regularly. Enter to win great prizes at kstatesports.com backslash Powercat Health. Stay tuned for that update after the game is concluded. Second free throw is good by Beard, so she has made all four free throws, has six points. Peyton Williams has come back for K-State. Starting lineup minus Carr with Beard in the place of Carr. Double team comes on the pick and roll. In it goes to the post. Lewis in the paint, fires it over right side. And the ball is stripped. Beard picks the pocket of Cooper. Beard coming up the court with a basketball. Right side pulls up for a two poop one jumper and hits it. Jason Beard doing it all for K-State. And it's 23-18 Syracuse, final 20 seconds of the first. That was kind of a no, 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 yes type jumper. She was a little bit out of control with the dribble, the defense. Had a couple of swipes at the ball. She kept control, went straight up with her jumper, knocked it down. Beautiful play from Beard. Wildcat fans making noise as Syracuse trims this down to the final play. Lewis off a high screen, driving right lane line, goes up over Jones. Shot adjusted by Kaylee Jones, and it will end the corner. Kaylee Jones with another big block, helping the Wildcats stay within shouting distance of the 14th ranked Orange. After the first quarter, Syracuse 23. K-State 18 here in Cancun, Mexico on the K-State Sports Network from their field. Had the ball first, went down the court, missed a shot. King State came back, good work through the offense. Her corner three by Ranky didn't go. Now Lewis on the other end, an answer missing badly by Syracuse, gives the ball back to the Wildcats. King State on the baseline, Beard wide open, went up, foul as she went up for the shot. Zaldi Tabi, the guilty party, it's her first. And King State back to the free throw line with Jason Beard. Love the aggressiveness right now, Jason Beard. Both ends of the floor, she's completely engaged in this game right now. Eight points in the first quarter. Factor on the defensive end with steals and rebounds. She makes the first. Beard has been perfect at the line. Five of five, has nine points to lead K-State. Five points for Beard. She also has a couple of rebounds. Nobody else for K-State, more than three points. Eight for Diana Magatahia to lead the way for Syracuse. Goff is going to get a break. She'll come out. Simmons has returned to run the point for K-State. 
23 to 19 as Beard missed the second, so that's her first miss at the line. And a whistle and a stop by Bill Lawrence. Now they will say, I thought she made that free throw. They did finally get the scoreboard adjusted. 23-20. It feels like there should be, yeah, there, the clock didn't start right either, Brian. Only yep. three seconds came off the clock after the free throw. Bill Lawrence noticing that, stopping play, getting the shot clock adjusted. Shows 24, 8.54 to go with the first half, 23-20 in favor of Syracuse. Cats back to zone, it looks like. Manga Kahia wraps it around into the paint to Inkster, working against Jones, gets her in the air, and Jones coming down, fouls Inkster. That'll be the first on Kaylee Jones. I think the shot was so bad, Brian, that she was so far off balance, that's how she ended up getting the call, because it looked like Jones went straight up and swatted it straight out of bounds. Well, Inks learned to the free throw line, and she'll shoot two. She is perfect on the season, now two of two, one more coming up. Number 11 player in the nation last year, coming out of high school, averaging 18 points, 12 rebounds, four assists a game. She scores her first two points, off free throws. No press here by Syracuse until a trap at midcourt. K-State beats that quickly with Beard in front of the Syracuse bench. No look pass over to Ranky with a man running at it. Let's go a three-pointer. The long rebound out to Syracuse. 25-20. Orange on the run. Makakihia pulls up for a three and hits it. Tiana Makakihia with another big impact basket. 28-20 in front of uh, for the Orange. Beard over in front of the Syracuse bench, now to Simmons. And K-State will start up their offense. Jones at the high post, Williams at the low post. Frankie on the right wing, now top to Beard, swung left to Simmons. Jones flashes high to get it at the free throw line, trying to rip it down to Williams, instead has to go back up to Deshaun. Shot clock at five, Ranky a long three put up, that'll miss badly, and the rebound to the orange. K-State now one of its last nine from three-point range. Beard gets in front of a pass as it comes flying up the court. Maybe inter interfered with the eyesight of Soko, and it ends up going out of bounds. Syracuse will turn it over. That's their 10th already here in this first half. And Casey gets the ball back and brings Goss quickly back into the game. Carr has returned as well. 28-20, Orange in front. 14th ranked team of the country. Trap coming at Goff, forcing her to give up the basketball. Williams back to Goff over left side. Get pass coming now to Beard. He's had the hot hand early. In it goes to Williams. Right elbow jumper is blocked. Williams gets it back. Steps around, goes up, had it blocked again. Drop Monet. Just maybe one of the foul on that second shot, but he didn't get the call. Lewis, head of steam the other way over Goff. Puts a runner up at the, get, at the basket, and it falls. Lewis has four points off the bench for the Orange, and it's a 10-point game, the largest lead for Syracuse. 7.27 to go here in the second quarter. Jones. Working against Zaldi Tommy. Missed the shot. Had the ball knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Wildcat. And now they'll reverse call and say it was off of Jones in Orange basketball. K-State shooting just 6 of 22 for the field. That's 27%. And after hitting a couple of threes early, Wildcat's just one of the last nine behind the arc. defense settles in. And Strotman called for travel up high. And Wildcats will get the ball right back. Syracuse out rebounding the Cats 16 to 8, and they are hitting 58% from the floor against the Wildcats right now. 11 to 19. Goff facing a double team. Bumped as she fires the pass up to Beard. Desan rifles one down to the corner to Carr. Bounce feed into Jones. Bounce Bangs struck Monet away, but couldn't hit the shot. And the rebound to the Orange. Lewis quickly up the court to the right elbow. Outlets up to Fox. Raven Fox off the bench. Misses the three, and the rebound to Williams. Fox is a senior who doesn't play a whole lot for Syracuse, but in at the moment with a 10-point lead for the Orange. Williams double team down low, and her pass is deflected as it comes out. Lewis to step underneath underneath the hoop and a reverse layup attempt will miss short. Rebound to Goff at K-State. Boy, sporadic play right now. Disjointed on both ends. 30 to 20, Syracuse leading the Wildcats. Second quarter. Williams catching down on the block. Fires the pass to Beard. Driving in strong. Beard goes up for the shot. Missed it. Gets her own rebound. 
Dribbles out of traffic and a reset coming for the Cats. Up high to Carr. Over left to Goff. He's been held quiet. Now to Beard, left elbow. Has Goff to her left. Beard or Jones will take the long jumper and it kicks off the glass and then the backboard and goes in. Four points for Jones. Uh, she did the right thing there. She gave a little bit of head to shoulder fake, forced the defense to drop their hands. Then she was able to take the 15 footer. 30 to 22, K-State stays in their 2-3 matchup zone. 5.25 to go, second quarter. Lewis up top, working against the zone. In it goes to Strotmane against Jones. Fading away to the right side. Jones hammered off the glass for a two-point basket. And a stoppage of play here for a moment. 5.16 to go in the second period. 32-22 in favor of Syracuse. Substitutions for both teams. Frankie is returning for Beard. Uh, with the Syracuse defense, if they don't feel like you're playing up to their speed and pace, they're going to force you into playing it there with their 1-2-2, two, two, three-quarter court press, or in a half-court trap. We saw it. They trapped Williams along the baseline when they felt like K-State was pulling the game down. Williams with a dribble drive. Late feed to Jones. She's bumped, and the shot blocked from behind by Engsler. Engsler blocks it out. No foul. K-State will play it in with Goff. Goff has yet to hit a basket. Inbound play, Williams, keyhole jumper. Off the rim, no good. The rebound, Zaldi Tabi of Orange. Five minutes to go in the second, 32-22, Syracuse. Lewis into the lane, lobs it down low. Inksler catches, reverses it up off the glass and scores her first field goal. And Syracuse starting to find their footing now. And a whistle as all of a sudden, Kayla Goff goes down in the backcourt. She may have rolled an ankle as she was trying to beat the double team and immediately grabbed her foot and out comes Becca Fitzgerald to tend to K-State star Kayla Goff who went down in a heap virtually untouched in the back and this will be of concern. A break now, K-State down 34-22 with 4.49 to go in the second on the K-State Sports Network from Newfield. Kansas State operating without Kayla Goff, the star point guard, going down with an untouched leg injury in the backcourt for the Wildcats here in the second quarter against Syracuse. Wildcats down double figures. Mary Lakes inside, got good position, missed the shot, trying to get the rebound. It's out of bounds to the Wildcats with 4.22 to go in the second quarter. K-State down 34-22. Syracuse hitting 57% from the field, dominating the paint, 12-2 on the Cats, and the Wildcats... Again, ice cold from behind the arc. They hit two early threes, but haven't hit anything really since. Carr misses a three-pointer. 
Williams the rebound and the reset. Simmons running the point for K-State with no golf. Here's Williams at the free throw line, out the car. Wide open three-point look. This one's good. Carr hit an early three-pointer. Now she finally hits the second. And that's a little bit of juice for the Cats. 34-25. K-State hit just one of their last 10 threes. Oh, K-State burned badly on a high-low look against the zone. Lakes caught napping on the baseline. And an easy lay-in for Zoli Tabi. 36-25, Orange. Get past right side of Ranky, and it goes to Williams. Back out to Rachel. Up top to Simmons, 3.40 to go. Williams with the free throw line. Lobs down to the big 6-4 Mary Lakes. She'll go up, have the shot blocked. Lakes hits to the ground as Insert takes it away from her. Freshman guard, a freshman post player from New York trying to race the other way and throw the pass inside. And K-State ruled to have touched the ball as it was lobbed in for a pass. And they will reverse it and say it is indeed K-State basketball. The Wildcat bench and fans erupted contesting that call as it looked like Inkler just got a little sped up. Well now, already short, as we understand Simone Gurich banged up, not available today for the Wildcats and her status in question for the tournament. Now you lose Goff. All of a sudden that bench becomes a little bit shorter. And Savvy Simmons is really kind of playing on one leg right now. Carr trying to drive baseline and a whistle and a foul. That'll be the second on the Orange here in this quarter. First foul on Soko. Inbound play. Lobbed all the way out high to Carr. 3.15 to go in the second quarter. Cats down 11 with the ball. Over to Ranky. Looking in post, it goes to Lakes. Tried to fire a quick pass to Williams, and it wasn't quite there. Ball kicked and taken away by the Orange. Monica Hia is returned. She's got it up top, wide open. She'll shoot a three-point shot, in and out, no. Lakes tapped the rebound long, and that goes back to the Orange. Goff's coming back to Jeff Mitty, saying that she's ready to go back in. She got a retape of that ankle and is limping as she heads towards the scores table, but I think Goff's going to try and give it a go. Monica Hia back over to the right side. Gets it back, looking into the post for Engstler. She'll turn, shoot for the free throw line, and a line drive shot goes in. Six for Inksler. 38-25 in favor of the Orange. Starting to pull away here. 2.20 to go before the half. Williams forced to bring the ball up against the pressure. Snaps the pass over far side. It goes to Ranky. Rachel thought about a cross-court pass to Carr. Instead, wisely goes back to Simmons. Now it goes to Carr on the right wing. Shot clock at 10 as Simmons gets it back. Lobs into Lo uh, Williams at the left elbow. Ranky dribbling down to the corner, it's in trouble. Bounce feed to Peyton, out to Savvy. Simmons a drive, rolls the shot towards the rim, misses everything, and the rebound of the Orange. They're running the other way, four on two. Inkler filling the lane, has it stripped and stolen. Carr takes it away, and now Carr going coast to coast, lays it up and in. From one top prospect to another, Carr the number 20 player in the country. She rips it away from Inkler and goes coast to coast. 38-27, K-State narrows the gap. A minute 40 to go in the second quarter. Against the 2-3 zone of K-State. Cats playing exclusively zone here today. And now a steal. Williams steps in front of a pass from Sisoko. Might be the easiest steal Williams gets all year. It slipped right out of Sisoko's hands into Peyton's lap. Williams on the baseline, double team. Inksler trying to get in there and tie her up, and a foul's going to be called. Inksler was trying to tie her up, but got her on the arm. And that will be a foul on the freshman. Third team foul on the orange, first on Inksler. And now substitution, here comes Goff back into the game for K-State. Wildcats give it an ovation. Beard is returned for the Wildcats as well. Now Jones coming to the scores table, and I think Jones is going to come in and, as well for Mary Lakes. Cats all lining up in a line right at the right elbow. Carr the first to cut through. K-State will inbound with Goff. Lobbed into Beard. Trying to get it back to Goff. It's stolen away by Inksler. Well, you cannot be soft with passes against a team like Syracuse. A couple of times that has burned the Cats. Inksler lights up a three. That'll miss. Rebound Ranky for K-State. A minute to go here in the second quarter. Wildcats down 11. Jeff Mitty shouting out a new offense here. Goff hands off to Rachel. Ranky will go between the circles to get the offense started. Then it goes to Goff. Free throw line jumper is up. It's good. Goff's first bucket. 38-29. The lead down to nine points. 
Manga Kagia into the lane, jump pass over left. Inksler fires the extra look down to the corner. Three pointer put up by Sissoko. Doe, good. Rebound Stratmane. Trying to get around Jones. Reverses it up and in. Stratmane has nine. 40 to 29 in favor of Syracuse. And now the pressure. K State trying to get it up the court. Difference between the game clock and shot clock is about one second. Goff across midcourt needs help. Finds Ranky. 15 now to go in this quarter. Carr steps around a defender. Let's go along. Jumper and a two-pointer. Carr has 10 in his first half. 40 to 31. The lead is nine for Syracuse. The final five seconds is there. Manga Kehia around the defense into the lane. Knocked away by Jones. That'll end the quarter. So the Wildcats do their job. They get a 13-point lead cut down to single digits. And here at the end of the second quarter, it's the 14th ranked Orange, 40, and the Wildcats, 31. Our halftime coverage starts after this on the K-State Sports Network from Learfield.
highlighting high quality of real estate and home improvement businesses. Kane State fans, please support these businesses who support Kane State Athletics for your next home improvement project. Buck Roofing, Fox Home Innovations, and Torgerson Electric. Wildcats will have the basketball to begin the third quarter. Brian Smolder, Bailey Peterson back with you. Goff has returned for K-State to begin this third quarter. So that's a good sign. Starting five the same for both teams. And again, the pressure by Syracuse. Goff waiting for the double team to come. Passes ahead to Williams. And then up it goes to Ranky. Now back to Goff. And the Cats get it back to the point guard with 19 on the shot clock. Taylor crossing over to the top of the circle. Over left the card. Extra pass. Ranky. Wide open corner three. It's an air ball from well short. Ranky just looks like she's thinking about it right now. Every time she shoots. Manga Kakia out to the right wing. Down to the baseline. Finkley, who in some foul trouble in the first half, didn't play much. Working against Jones, the ball knocked away and stolen by Peyton Williams. 15 orange turnovers in transition, up ahead. Reiki on the left side. A beautiful long pass by K-State finds her for an easy layup. Great job there from Kayla Goss. You weren't sure if it was going to Jones or Reiki. Both were ahead of the pack. Great job of racing down the floor by both of them. 40 to 33, K-State suddenly back within seven. Lob pass for Stratmane, out of bounds. 16 orange turnovers, and the Wildcats will get the ball right back. Just like that, Finkley's gonna come out, and here comes Zoli Pabi, another native of France, in the lineup for Quentin Hillsman. So Zoli, Zoli Pabi had more, more playing time there in the first half, more effective. Here it's thrown away by Goff, the backcourt working against the Double team pressure and a foul on Cooper, who was getting a little too handy with Peyton Williams. Uh, see, and, and those fouls weren't called in the first half. No, Syracuse, they were not. Syracuse is going to be upset about it because that's how they were able to play defense the entire first half. Double team comes on Goff. K State lobs it ahead by Williams. Williams throws it right to the defense, but gets it right back, thankfully. Peyton up top to Goff between the circles and the cats against the 2 3 zone of Syracuse. And it goes to Williams. Dump down Jones, reverse layup, no, and a foul called on Syracuse. And Jones will get to the free throw line. That could be on Cooper again. So she's got two quick fouls, and Jones to the free throw line. Kaylee Jones, back to back games with 14 points. And she'll switch the first free throw. She is a completely different player than what we saw last season, bro. No doubt. Confidence, a wonderful thing. Average two points, two and a half rebounds a game, just was a non-factor. K-State wanted a redshirt Jones last year, but had, because of defections, had to force her into playing. And now you kind of see why they wanted a redshirt. One more year, the confidence could have been great for Jones. Now 40 to 35, K-State with the first four of the second half has trimmed this gap to five points. Cooper on the right side against the zone. Manga Kakia up top. Now over right side to Cooper. In it goes. Strutmane. Double team to the right block. Fires it back out to her point guard. Between the legs and the dribble. She'll work to the left side of the lane and into the lane. And a travel is called. Double dribble, in fact, will be called on Manga, Manga Kahia. And it's another turnover by Syracuse. 17 turnovers. That's just the length of the K-State defense. Goff. Trying to take her man up the court. Passes up ahead against the zone to Williams. Snaps the pass over left by the car. Thought about the three. Car to the baseline. Shut off. Gives back up to Goff. K-State can cut it to a one possession game on this trip down the court. Goff signaling traffic. Passes over right side to Ranky. Bounce feed. Williams wide elbow. Williams driving hard to the basket. Running layup. No. The rebound to the orange. Williams contact. wanted a foul. Yep. Strotmane. Fires back to Mangakakia, over to the right side to Cooper, down to the baseline, Zaldi Tabi, and a travel called on Zaldi Tabi. 18 turnovers on the orange. And the only thing that's allowed is for them to set up their press. Williams needs some help. Goff, head fakes, gets up the court. Goff into the lane, bounce feed, Jones wide open, lays it in. Jones has eight on the feed. From, from Kayla Goff, and it's 40 to 37, K-State within three. Oh, K-State now has kind of ground the game into their favor. Yes, they have, three-pointer put out on the side, miss, and a rebound foul inside on the orange over the back. Timeout, Syracuse, 7-17 to go, third quarter, K-State within three of a 14th rank orange on the K-State Sports Network from their field.
in the third. Inbound play will go to Carr. Carr will bring it up across midcourt against this trapping defense of Syracuse. Carr splits a double team, gets it to Goff. Goff back up top of Rinky, had Beard open right side, instead down over the left to Carr. K-State directing defense or offense from the bench. Here's Jones over to Carr, looking for Goff. Carr to the baseline, shovels back to Kayla. Skip pass coming over to Rinky. Up top to Beard, shot clock under 10. Kayla surveying, skips it over a far corner. Rinky, an open three-pointer from the corner for the tie. Couldn't hit it. Jones, the rebound. Couldn't hit the stick back. Gets it again. It's out of bounds off of Syracuse and K-State basketball. Well, the K-State bench was really feeling it there. They really thought Rinky's three was going to go down. Wide open look. She's just hesitant right now. Just can't really pull the trigger like she was last season. Last season, this early going of the year, it was immediately out of her hand. And this year, there's like that little second of hesitancy. Inbound play will go all the way out high to Christy Carr. Chase get a new shot clock down three with the ball in the midst of an 8-0 run. 6-0 run in this third quarter. Beer to the baseline gets bumped and out of bounds. They'll say no foul. Turnover by the Wildcats. That's K-State's 10th turnover, 18 turnovers for Syracuse. Wildcats have taken advantage, 17 to 10, their favor in points off turnovers. Munga Kahia with the basketball up top for Syracuse. Lob into the high post, Sissoko starts to work against Jones, goes up, makes the shot. Driving hard right lane line, Sissoko, another native of France, with the basket. K-State beats the full court pressure, up ahead it goes to Beard. Down in front of the Wildcat bench in the corner, pulled out is Strutman A guarding her. 6.05 to go in this quarter, 42-37, K-State. Defense has been the name of the game for the Wildcats in the second half. Beard gets a great bounce feed from Jones, trying to go up inside and travel it into the sun. K-State bench wanted a foul there. Looks like Beard got pushed originally on the catch. No dice. She regathered. Unfortunately, stutter step. Yep. Turnover. Gives the ball right back to the Orange. And can now Syracuse take advantage. Jones bats a Zaldi Tabi pass right out of bounds. It'll stay with Syracuse. Might have hit Jones right in the chest. That's not, a, not an ideal pass in that short corner. You want it up in the air. Peyton Williams returning for the Wildcats. Williams has just two points with five boards, four assists in the game. Inbound play, Zaldi Tabi right over Williams, missed the shot, rebound, Beard goes up and collects it with one hand. Up ahead it goes to Goff, 5.30 to go in this third quarter. Beard gets the ball back on the right elbow, has a car to her right, Ranky to her left, goes to Rachel. Ranky dribbling out high now as Syracuse falls back in their 2-3 zone. Shovel off to Goff, over right it goes to Beard. Williams flashes high circle to get the basketball to Goff. Now swung down to Ranky. Inside the lane, it goes to Carr. Carr trying to get open with a shot, has it stripped. Mangakakia stripped it, comes back the other way, pulls up in transition for a three pointer. That'll miss, and a rebound out of bounds to K State. Freshman superstar Inksler returning for the Orange. 6 1 post player. For Syracuse inbound play, Goff and Williams will two man it up the court with full court pressure everywhere. Ranky comes comes to help out. 42-37, Kansas State with 4:57 to go in this third quarter. Wildcats down five, I should say, with the basketball. Here's Carr left wing looking inside to Goff, jump pass to Williams, reverse layup is good. Fourth point for Williams, another assist for Goff. 42 to 39, catch within three. Inksler, top of the circle, working against Goff, crosses over. Inksler working hard against Kayla Goff, left side layup, missed badly, and the rebound to K-State. Perhaps too much head of steam there for the freshman, Goff the other way. Handoff, Carr, three-pointer was way off the mark, and the rebound to the Orange. Quick shot by Carr, not needed at the time. The other way, Mana Kihia passes inside, outlet, and it goes to Cooper. That three-point shot won't go. Beard couldn't hang on to the rebound. It goes out of bounds, and we're at a timeout. Kansas State down 42-39 to Syracuse on the K-State Sports Network from their field.
three of 18, Brian. I feel like this is going to be a... Come back, another turnover by Syracuse. Three seconds in the lane, 19 Syracuse turnovers. K State with the basketball back down 42 39 to the 14th ranked Orange here in the Cancun Challenge. And a whistle and a foul on Syracuse as the ball against full court pressure went to ranking here. Big court and Eastler came up over the back. That's her second foul. Fourth foul now on Syracuse for the final 356 of this quarter. K State on eighth foul. Would head to the free throw line for two free throws. There's no one and one in the women's game. Beard with a ball down between the circles. Over right side it goes to Ranky. Skips all the way to the baseline. A terrible pass by Ranky, and it's thrown right out of bounds. That's just an ill thought of decision by the sophomore Ranky looking for Williams. And Peyton uh, giving her some discussion back on where that ball should have gone on the throw. 3.44 to go here in this third quarter. The Cats give away a possession. They have 11 turnovers. Now 13, I should say, turnovers. K-State has had about three or four possessions here where they could have tied or taken the lead. Inksler, a three-point shot will miss. Goff, the rebound for the Wildcats. Inksler, you can tell at times as a freshman, just tries to get a little too shot happy. Down on the baseline to Williams. Double teamed up high to Beard. In the high post to Goff. Goff, a couple of up and under moves. Gets free. Four-foot jumper. Rolls around and drops. Goff only has four, but they've been big buckets. K-State down only a point. The other way, here comes Syracuse. Fast break answer. Sissoko played everybody down the court and got the feed from Mangas Bahia, 44 to 41. Williams for K-State, dribbling up the right lane line, goes up strong, scores! Right side against two defenders. 44 to 43, up and down we go. Orange back with the basketball. Inksler gets away with the travel. Inside feed stolen by Peyton Williams. 20 turnovers by the Orange. 44 to 43. Kate State within one. Third quarter. With the basketball with Sadie Simmons running the point. Over right side the beard. Back to Simmons. Now left side to Ranky. Trying to get it to Goff in the high post. Instead to Simmons right wing. Pressured by Inksler. Beard rifles it over left side to Ranky. Skip pass coming over to Simmons. Thought about lining up a three. And a whistle and a foul on Inksler. who was just all over Kayla Goff. Trying to keep her from getting the basketball. And that's going to be three on the freshman. And the fifth foul will send K-State to the free throw line. Kayla Goff for two. K-State down a point to the 14th ranked Orange. A chance to take the lead. Goff to the line to shoot her first two free throws of the day. She's perfect on the first. One more coming up. K-State women's basketball being brought to you by People State Bank. Serving Wildcat fans since 1897. Visit them at psbbanks.com. People State Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. One more free throw coming up for Goff. Substitutions for both teams. Cats bring back Carr and Jones. Second free throw misses. And the rebound by Syracuse. We are tied 44 all. Wildcats haven't led since 2 0. Over left side it goes to the Orange. Manga Tejia left open for a three pointer. That'll miss. Williams the rebound for Taste. Good block out inside. Another chance for the Wildcats as they come down the court. They've hit three of the last four shots. Uh, Williams now within range of another double-double effort. She's got seven rebounds, six points. Look for her to get more touches here in the fourth quarter. Tar over left it goes to Ranky, trying to get it to Jones. Syracuse is packing it in in the zone. Here's Jones, right lane line with it, holding and waiting. Wants to pass, gives out to Tar. Over and up top now to Goss. Shot clock at five. Williams trying to get the dump down, and it's stolen by Zoli Tabi. In transition, Syracuse up the court, and Simmons guilty of a reach-in on Manga Tejia. And while that's a foul, it may not be that bad of a foul. K-State has been great here in the second half, being able to gather and organize their defense because they've been making a lot of shots. And Syracuse, when they're able to get up and down in transition, that's how Shisoko has gotten both their made field goals this, this quarter. Now that foul is able to set up K-State's defense. K-State has three more fouls to play with in the last minute 38. Manga Tejia with the basketball, top of the circle, over left to Stratmane, back to Manga Tejia, into the lane it goes, recovered by Sissoko, she'll go up with the left hand in transition and store, or in the traffic I should say in store, Sissoko, another one of those that was some question about whether she had played some pro ball or not, 
She does look like a polished player as she makes that left-handed hook in the lane. Regardless, the freshman looks very good. 46-44, Oren back in front. After K-State had come all the way back to tie it, down nine at the half. Williams on the baseline, driving in, all the way to the basket, running layup, right side, no. Jones a tip, another tip, no. The rebound, Jones a third chance, and this time she's fouled before she can make the shot. Kaylee Jones, what energy for the Wildcats. Sixth foul on the Orange in the quarter. She's credited with just two rebounds today, but it just feels like she's been so much more active than that on the boards all day. You could give her a couple of rebounds there on that play. Jones to the line, and she'll make the first free throw. One more coming up. Jones is a perfect three of three at the line. She has nine points. This second free throw could make her the third Wildcat in double figures. One more coming up for Jones. Got it, nothing but net. 10 points for Jones, who, as Randy said, only has two boards. Feels like she's had about five or six. All those tips she just had a moment ago could be counted as rebounds. On a steal and a block shot, and this is her third straight game now in double figures. Entered the season with zero games in double figures. 46 all, 50 seconds to go in this third quarter. Mangatehia, the extra pass. I think it goes inside Zaldi Tabi. Double team up to stop it, and she traveled with it. A turnover by the Syracuse Orange with 45 seconds left in case they had a chance to take the lead. Goff returns to the lineup for K-State. Such an impressive comeback for Kansas State. K-State was down 13 points midway through the second quarter. It really looked like Syracuse was getting their feet under them to, to really run away with the game. Kansas State has slowed everything down and just dominated the Orange here in the third quarter. Defensively, they've held them to six points. Williams going coast to coast, hammered from behind as she goes to the basket. And a foul committed by the Orange with 35 and a half seconds left. That'll put Peyton Williams to the free throw line. Manga Tejia trying to get back just to straight frame Peyton Williams as she was trying to go up for a layup. No, they're going to change it. They're going to give it to Zaldi Tabi, and that's her fourth foul. So now Peyton Williams to the free throw line for two. And Williams sinks the first. Seven for Peyton. Simmons in for Goff. 47 46. K State leading. 14th ranked Syracuse with 35 and a half seconds left here in this third quarter. The Wildcats with their first lead since leading 2 0. What a quarter for the Wildcats. A 16 to 6 third. And Williams makes the second free throw. She has eight points. Mary Lakes is going to come in for Williams. Cats with only one foul in this quarter, so you have some fouls to give. Lakes joins Jones and Beard on the front line. Carr and Simmons in the backcourt. The Wildcat fans on their feet making noise. 48-46, K-State on 14th ranked Syracuse. Just don't follow a shooter. Inksler down in the corner and the whistle away for the ball, and it's going to be on Lakes. Lakes getting too physical inside with Stratmane. That's actually not a bad foul there from Lake. The Syracuse may elect to just pull the ball out and hope for the last shot. Wildcats will not guard the inbounder. Mana Tejia. They look underneath the basket, go to the corner, open three-pointer up for Sisoka. It's missing. Lakes the rebound for K-State. Now the Wildcats can hold for the final shot up two. It wow. did work out well. Syracuse has gone ice cold from behind the arc now. They hit two of four in the first quarter. They are one of 11 cents. Simmons working left side, gets free, can get open, fires the pass across, it's stolen by Inksler. Inksler in the midcourt, lets it go, and it'll miss, and we are at the end of three. K-State with a 17-6 to third quarter against 14th-ranked Syracuse will take a 48-46 lead to the fourth when we return on the K-State Sports Network from their field.
the stakes. Peyton Williams rattles in a jumper from the right elbow. She's in double figures with 10. The Wildcats have four in double figures. With 9.18 to go, they lead 14 point Syracuse, 50 to 48. Sissoko, a corner three, won't go. The rebound, Williams, for K-State, nearing a double-double. Inksler made a jumper the last time down for Syracuse, 50 to 48 in favor of the Wildcats with nine minutes to go. The Cats have never won a game in three previous trips here in Cancun. Goff against the 2-3 zone. Jones touches it down to Williams on the block. Being bodied up by Strotlane. Williams through the lane, fades away, puts it up, and it goes! 12 for Peyton Williams. 52-48, Wildcats now by four, their largest lead on the 14th rank Orange. Inksler, a step-in jumper from 12, no rebound. Beard tips it over to Goff, and K-State now dominating on both ends. Syracuse has scored just eight points in the second half against this Wildcat defense. Beard looking into the post, instead the car, top of the circle, swung left. Goff down to Williams, and Williams bodied up. The ball knocked out of bounds. Peyton wanted a foul. She fell to the ground to sell it, but instead just out of bounds to K-State. That last move that Williams had against Troutman was very reminiscent of her game at KU last year, of how she took her time in the post and was able to get distance from the post player to get the shot over the bigger player. Kaylee Jones was going to get a breather. Ten points for Jones. Two boards, feels like it should be more than that on the rebounds, but it is what it is. Inbounds play, Williams trying to give it back to Goff, the ball nearly stolen. Instead, it is now taken by Mana Kahea. Given a free lane, he'll drive to the basket. Crazy layup will go in, and a foul by Jason Beard. Boy, when they need it most, Mana Kahea is a superstar, and she finds a way to make a play. 52-50, the Nancy Lieberman candidate at point guard heads to the free throw line. Well, that was a professional type play there, Brian. She was able to lean into the defense, use her off arm to get, get the contact, and then lay up the ball. And she'll finish off the three-point play. 14 points for Manga Kahia. And a timeout on the floor. We'll take it as well. 8-11 to go in the fourth. 52-51 K-State on the K-State Sports Network from Learfield. Oh. 50 to play in the ball game among a Kahia run out on the other end after a K-State poor pass on the inbounds results in Syracuse getting back in front 53-52 on the Wildcats and Carr fouled down on the baseline needlessly. Miranda Drummond, the guilty party, was the first one that's the first foul on her, first of the fourth quarter on the Orange. 53-52, K-State down a point with the ball against 14th-ranked Syracuse. They have dominated the second half of play. 
17 to 6 third quarter put the Wildcats in front Williams right elbow jumper turns around shoots and missed off the back guy on the rebound to Magazihia who's starting to take over here for Syracuse no look pass cross court to Drummond with a man running at her three point shot rattles in Syracuse have been just one of the last 12 from behind the arc but they get the basket on that shot and it makes it 56 52 Syracuse Carr the answer three pointer corner look no Beer the offensive rebound going up strong and a jump ball as Beer goes up for the shot possession arrow will favor K-State they'll get the ball back Drummond's three here at the other end, the first three-pointer of the game. Timeout taken by the Wildcats, a 30-second timeout. That reminds us, or gives us a chance to remind you, Wildcat fans, stay connected to your Purple family by joining the K-State Alumni Association. Enjoy the fun, friendship, and membership benefits. Become a member today. For details, visit k-state.com or download the Link for Life app. This also a reminder, K-State fans, and for those stations along the network, because of the disconnection that we had earlier, the technical problems here from Mexico, we will be pushing spot break four, second half break number four, into our post-game coverage. So stay tuned for that. 56-52 in favor of Syracuse. K-State with them all seven minutes to go with the fourth quarter. The first of three straight games in three straight days. Inbound, Beer right underneath the hoop, and she misses a wide open layup. Oh, what a great inbound play drawn up by Jeff Mitty and the Wildcats, but Beard couldn't connect, and a missed opportunity there to cut the gap to two. Instead, the Orange back with the basketball. I think he was anticipating contact or a defender to be closer than anybody really was. Inksler driving hard to the basket, leaning in on Williams, and she'll score. She's in double figures with 10 off the bench. Beard across midcourt. Suddenly, Syracuse on a 10-0 run has taken a six-point lead, 58-52. 6.27 to go in the fourth. Cats had everything working, but got a little sloppy with a couple of turnovers, and all of a sudden, the Orange take advantage. Williams finds Beard in the block, up and under move, and Beard goes up and scores. That ends the 12-0 run. 58-54 now, Syracuse in front. Mangakahia up top, skips it over to Inksler. Thought about a three-point shot, the freshman driving now, shovels off the strut, Manet, and she'll lay it in. 11 for Strutmana. 60 to 54, Kansas State's Goff working in the backcourt against Manga Tejia, bringing it up herself against full court pressure. Goff gets it across the midcourt line and now settles in. 60 to 54, Syracuse, 5.54 to go. Again, Cats led by four at one point here in the fourth quarter, but trying to hang on, stay in the game. Beard near the top of the circle, now the free throw line, pulls up for a jumper, that'll miss the rebound. Williams pushed out underneath the hoop, couldn't get the rebound. Syracuse starting to take over. Manga Tejia, no look pass to the baseline, saved by a teammate, just barely by Inksler. Looks like Drummond might have been out of bounds. Manga Tejia gets the play for the bench, puts it over right side to Cooper, gets it back, lobs into the high post to Inksler, down to the baseline, struck by off. Out to Cooper, three-pointer is up, A is good. So after all that time, 11 misses and 12 tries from behind the arc for Syracuse, suddenly now they've hit two straight. 63-54, Orange, five minutes to go. Just not a lot of bounce on the defensive end for K-State. They look, they look tired right now. Yeah, a little bit. Beard over right wing to Ranky, bounce fed down baseline to Williams. Goes for Goff, and Goff with a hand check behind is fouled. That's the second foul on the Orange. Here comes Jones in for Beard. K-State's gone with a rotation of pretty much seven, and Mary Lakes is the eighth from time to time. Well, and, and Brian Syracuse now seven of nine this quarter from the field after going three of 11 in the third quarter. Yeah, K-State saw Syracuse really shoot it poorly in that third frame. Defense was a part of that, but mostly just missed shots. Here's Carr left side, fadeaway three-pointer no, and Jones blocked out, couldn't get the rebound. Cats have been dominated on the glass for most of the game, and then got right back in it in the third quarter. Now down three on the glass. 31-28, Manga Kahia trying to take the air out of the basketball. Over left it goes to Drummond. Trying to look for Inksler in the paint. Working against Jones, passes out left. Drummond with another three-pointer, that'll miss long. The rebound, Ranky. 63-54, Cats down nine. A 15-2 run here for Syracuse. After the Cats get up four points. 
Williams, left lane line, six foot jumper not there, trying to get the rebound, down to the ground, Strutman and she'll get it away from Williams. Back come the Orange. Manga Kahia crosses over Goff, into the lane, passes out left, Drummond an open three, nothing but net. Bread and butter of Syracuse, they've got some good post players and then wing three point shooters to pair with Manga Kahia. And a timeout on the floor by the Wildcats. We'll pause 10 seconds here for stations to identify themselves. You're listening to Wildcat Basketball. Oh, Brian Smolder, Randy Peterson back with you here in the Cancun Challenge in Mexico, 66 to 54. They've made this a full timeout. Let's go ahead and take spot break number four, second half break four here. You're listening to K-State Basketball on the K-State Sports Network from their field. Cats with an unbelievable effort in the third quarter got up four points early in the fourth but it has been all Syracuse since a 20 to 4 run by the Orange over the last six minutes plus K-State with the basketball 2-11 to play 68-56 Orange the 14th ranked team in the country looks like they may be on their way to a win although for a while it was in doubt K-State has played valiantly in this effort against the Orange and the first of three straight games in three straight days against very good basketball teams here in game two. Peyton Williams has the basketball, has a game high or team high 14. Here's Goff, the left side three pointer. That'll go. Goff with eight. That makes it 68 59, a minute 50 to go. Brian Smolder, Randy Peterson with you here in Cancun, Mexico. Munger Tejillo looking over at the Syracuse bench. Clinton Hillsman directing traffic. Wildcats have switched to a man to man. Manga Kehia off a of pick and roll, driving into the lane, kicks it off to Strutmane, and she'll hit the baseline jumper. Strutmane on now with 13 points, 70 to 59. Kansas State with the basketball, working against this pressure. Peyton Williams brings it up across midcourt, hands it off to Goff. A minute 15 to go, K-State down 11. The Wildcats haven't hit many threes, just four of 21. There are two of 19 since hitting their first two of the, of the game. Williams back to Goff. Goff starts to drive, pull up, keyhole jumper off the window is good. Goff is the fifth Wildcat in double figures. She has 10, 70 to 61. 
Again, Mungatehia out high. K-State throws a double team at her, and she'll be fouled by Carr. That's just the second foul by K-State here in the fourth quarter. Carr's first. Simmons, Beard returns to K-State. Williams will come out. Here comes Ashley Ray into the game. Goff is out. Now you got to start thinking about three games in three days. Yep, yep. Here comes Laura McLean for the Wildcats and Alisa Wiggins. So K-State's going to empty the bench. 70 to 61 with 47.5 left. You can just see Kansas State get, get tired midway through this fourth quarter, and that allowed Syracuse to come back. They were able to play a lot more players in that second quarter when they were, when they built that 13-point lead. A legit 10 deep are the Orange, and they use it the entirety of the game. That's with Binkley hardly playing today. Mangatehia, his time is running down. 70 to 61, Orange up by nine. KC will get their first loss of the year, three and one. Syracuse will get to four and one. And the Wildcats will play their second top 20 opponent coming up tomorrow, where they'll take on 16th ranked DePaul. Martin Tejia driving to the left block, leans in on Ashley Ray, will miss the shot, the rebound falls to Sally Simmons. No press here by Syracuse. Wildcats have the ball for the final 10 seconds. We'll hear from Jeff Minnie in our post-game coverage. Wiggins with five seconds to go. Over left side to Simmons. Simmons drops it into Ray. And the shot clock will, and the game clock will expire before K-State can get a shot off. 70 to 61, the final. Kansas State loses the 14th ranked Syracuse. A valiant effort comes up shy on the K-State Sports Network from their field. <laughs> 